Hey and welcome to the White Belt Mindset with me Sensei Emmett where I take off the black belt and put on a white belt and delve into the martial arts I've never tried before. Now on today's episode I'm going back to where I first began in kickboxing. Now it's about 15-20 years since I've stepped on the mats doing this and I'm joining my good friend Daniel Pinder Quigley who is a four time world champion in K1 so check it out. <laughs> So instead of going from here, what I want you to do is bring the foot back after you check and then straight back to the left leg. So this time with your back foot it needs to pivot, turn your hip on. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Nice and loose, don't, don't uh, go for power, go for speed or go for technique and speed and power will come out there, right? So if I throw the kick on, drop it down and bring the hip right down. So back in your stance again. So you're going to check the kick. Just pivot that up there. Back in your stance, good. Bar stance, okay. So check, drop, kick. And so it's check, kick, yeah. Again, check. So see after you throw the kick, that's that's you're going to check. Pull the rounders, kick, and then be back in your stance, ready to strike again, yeah. yeah. So we're going to add on your full combo, right? So we do it slow, it's going to be check. Point down, tight stance, one, two, left, right leg. 
Yep, yep. Right, let's try it again. Do you remember what? That's it. More relaxed, you're the easier to be there, so check. Here's the point stance. One, two, three. Right, so I always, because I love watching Dutch style, Dutch style in boxing. Dutch style is really aggressive when they attack him, moving forward. So where you're standing, you're standing in one spot there. This time up on your one, two left, so don't you attack him, you come yeah. forward, so it's going to be check, kick, moving forward, one, two, hook. I'm going to do a leg kick, you finish. Good thing about Dutch style as well, it's, it's they change levels so all the time, so they're not always attacking the head. Once you see that open, you're going for either body or head or knee. Yep. yep, no problem. Right, next and this. Back forward. So, what you don't need to do is change the stance uh, when you're packing forward. Right, so if I'm from your city, I'm going to go check, running push, moving up, back on your stance. One, two, hook. Yep, so always be aware of your fighting stance. Check. Stance move forward. One, two, hook. Hey, have a hook. Shall I help you, Bob? Shall I help you hard? <laughs> hey, nice and focused, you got it? Yep. Check, forward. Oops, sorry, Michael, that okay. Check, kick. One, two, hook. Ah. Remember, we talked about the hook sets up the round house. You're going one, two, hook, and then that sets you up for the finish and they kick in. Yep, yep. One, two, hook. For now, Brian. And then, alright. You can do like a check from the front and then pop it. Up and kick on. Yeah. All right. So that's the first one. You can see you don't need to always go back. Yeah. What that basically doing is just for someone attacking you, you know, you just check just the counter. Yeah. But you can just bring the check up and put it back. So have you done switch kick before? I usually do. <laughs> uh, so switch kick. So if you're going to check, do the same thing. You go check. All right. Switch. Kick out. Okay, we're in the body. The nice of this one is a bit much further to see, just keep the technique first, right? So, check. So, check off the right, right? Yeah, so, switch kick. Right switch. Switch kick. So, check. Switch. Kick on. So, better do it on you, right? Don't want to go out. Nice of this, just pull it back over the switch. Check. Switch. Get the guard away and the kick. So, check. Switch. Or I can go one side leg and one other and go with head kick. It just depends. So again. He's sticking his elbows out now. Oh, they're cheats now, his elbows. So again. There he goes. It's nice and loose, but we're just training together, so we're not going to kick too hard. We need to stick the elbows out. Yeah. Right, so you've got our own knee now, so. That's it. Just so, so see that distance from your feet here? Yeah. When you do your, your, uh, your jump. Or your switch, it should be here more or less the same distance. So, it's like a mistake people make as they do this. You know, they can't get the kick. So, it's just nice and steady. Switch, kick. Yeah, good. Right. Very good. Keep your leg, keep your kick. That's it. Again. Keep our legs in height. Nice relax. Good. Ah, I'm not 
there's a class there for anybody who's got any needs. You don't need to be a fighter. You can be um, just come on the train, keep fighting, and meet new people. You know?